What is the dynamic systems theory of motor development? Have you ever wondered how babies learn to crawl, walk, or even just reach for a toy? It's a fascinating process, and the dynamic systems theory helps us understand it better. This theory, developed by Esther Thalen, explains that motor skills are not just about the brain sending commands to the muscles. Instead, it's a complex process involving the coordination of many different skills and components. When a baby starts to crawl, for example, it's not just their brain telling their muscles to move. It involves the growth of their muscles, their perceptual abilities, their nervous system, and even their motivation to reach something out of their grasp. The environment also plays a crucial role, as babies often use objects like tables and chairs to support themselves as they learn to move. According to this theory, motor development is the result of interactions between the child, the environment, and the task they are trying to accomplish. For instance, if a baby wants to touch a toy that's just out of reach, their motivation to get to it drives them to develop the necessary skills to crawl towards it. This process is continuous and dynamic, with the child's exploratory activities leading to new challenges and advancements in their motor skills. The dynamic systems approach emphasizes that all components of the system, person, environment, and task, are equally important and can contribute to the emerging behavior. This means that changes in any of these components can lead to changes in the behavior. For example, if the environment changes, such as the distance or size of the target, the child's reaching behavior will also change to adapt to these new conditions. This theory also introduces the concept of attractors, which are preferred behaviors that the system tends to return to when disturbed. As the child develops, the attractor landscape changes, reflecting new behaviors and the stability or variability of these behaviors. This helps explain why some skills are easier to learn and maintain than others. In summary, the dynamic systems theory of motor development highlights the interconnected and dynamic nature of how children learn to move and interact with their world. It's a process driven by the child's own motivation and continuous interaction with their environment.